everybody. Uh, I'd like to try to get to the inside of the uh, spin map uh, mechanism. Okay, uh, uh, do a small little bit of a comparison. Uh, we developed this uh, Dynama back in 2009. Okay, but we started with a one-way ball bearing that drives the shaft that's connected to a spinner. Okay, this is how the one-way ball bearing basically works. Uh, this way it's free spun and this way it's locked so it starts to spin the, uh, the rod. And it works by one way or another, it's just different kinds of uh, one-way ball bearing. Ours is like that, other people may use one like this or, some, or something else. Uh, this may be a more recognizable brand here. Okay, and uh, all right, they, they have a pedal with a design that doesn't really do anything except it uh, looks good. Here, uh, it's a return spring for the pe for the pedal, and they have the they have the gears over here, and that's about uh, less than a half inch wide, and it. It moves and drives the shaft that's connected to this one-way ball bearing. I don't know if you can see well here, but this one-way ball bearing is hidden inside. Um, I don't need to take it apart. You could you could just see the inside of this construction. And uh, I'll also show you some others. Here's one that looks like this. And again, this gear is about. Uh, uh, one centimeter in width, and uh, it's not very effective when you use this. It spins, okay. but even though it doesn't spin fast, it, it works the same way. The one uh, by by ball bearings. Here's one with the pedal again, and the the the, the gear here. You'll see the gears here that carries, carries the uh, uh, smaller gear, that carries this big one, right? And when you, when you press, it carries, it moves this one, and that's connected to this thing here, which is this ball bearing, okay? That's connected to make it, to make it spin, okay? And as it's spinning, this rod is in contact with the uh, ball bearing, like this. When it's spinning, when it's spinning, it actually works this way. When it's spinning, the ball bearing itself here is in contact. So a good ball bearing will last 20,000 spins and 20,000 steps. And this is one pedal. After 20,000 pedals, this is going to wear. This, this ball bearing is going to wear. Okay, now. Dynamop, what we did is we made this pedal extra wide so it's ergonomically designed, it's easier to pedal. And by the way, we made it with nylon material, it's guaranteed never to strip. Okay, and look, look, look at how wide we have it here. Right. This gear engages with this part here, both very wide. It's like Inside of that is this housing, okay, and the, the gear that drives this part is this wide, and then the inside, when we had the ball bearings, our ball bearing would sit in here, okay, and it works this way. Now, there's two contact points here, two here, and two here. The six contact point with, with this center part this, the uh, the uh, planetary gears. Now, if you put these gears together, it's equivalent to this width. It's equivalent to this wide. It's the same as that. So that's why it'll never strip. Right? This is guaranteed non-stripping gears. Now, back in 2012, we advanced, we took away this ball bearing don't even use ball bearings anymore, and it's the only one in the world of the spin up that do not use the ball bearing. And instead, we change to this this construction, 
and it kicks this. It works like a like a one-way ball bearing because it kicks in and starts to spin in in high speed. Okay, and with this housing, I'll reveal what's in here for you. We have three flippers. Okay, and this sits outside. seats in here and it spins All right. when, when, when we drive it it spins in real high speed uh, in fact much higher than the, the other ones uh, uh, where they claim to be 1000 rpm this is 2500 rpm and when it spins it goes in a real high speed without without any contact because when the when the rod goes in when the rod goes in here and it spins, it's not, this, this rod is not in contact with the ball bearing like, like those before. So that's why this is lifetime, uh, lifetime warranted. When we sent to the lab, to the SGS lab to test, a, a good ball bearing will last 20,000 20, pedals. Like that's a good pedal. It'll last 20,000 times. And this one lasts 250,000 times without damage found. So that's why uh, it's already 12 and a half times longer lasting and it could be, uh, uh, you know, 20 times. But as, as 20,000 pedals, we figure it'll be a year uh, or a year and a half use. And this 12 by 12 times is already 15, 15 years. And that's why it's a... Uh, lifetime lasting. All right, thank you for watching.